We're gonna head into a little car meet and then hopefully go make some pulls and turn the uh, boost controller on. Verify all that stuff's working. We also gotta make sure like the uh, automatic shift solenoid's working and all that, so I gotta program that possibly into the Holly if it's not working. I already did it once. I think I fixed it, but gotta check those things. So just a fun day, Saturday. It snowed recently, so kinda cold, but we're gonna go out and enjoy the car. All right, so we made it. Buick's back there parked. We're gonna walk around and see what's here. Pretty good turnout for beginning of February. <laughs> Super clean Fox. This thing's pretty cool. Oh, this is the one that I went and uh, actually helped him kind of get going for the first time driving around the block. Looks like he got it all finished up for the most part. Pretty cool. This is a rotary deal like what's in, should be in Clyde, even though that's not what's going in it. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, it's not very loud. I thought it'd be louder. We're here at RevFest 2019. Everybody's revving, I guess. I'd love to get one of these, a Gen 6 ZL1, they're so sick. I just always like the new Gen 6s. Super clean car, got a few little mods on it. But just Camaro fanatic, I guess. Here's another truck that I've been tuning on and stuff, just on wastegate. Ended up going 12s. It's a pretty cool little truck, just simple, six liter build with a uh, on three. Just speed density tuned it. It's working pretty good. Mark's big old truck sitting here next to the Buick. It's so funny how little it makes the car look. It's not the biggest car for sure, but it's a big old truck. It looks really tiny. All right, looks like everybody's getting ready to leave. Just been doing some burnouts and stuff around here. But uh, we'll uh, go ahead and get in the car and go do some more driving, see if we can dial it in some more.
Yeah, and recording this whole thing. Oh. This is gonna be a good one. This is a good vlog here. We got back from driving everything seems to be doing pretty well we got the car up to about 12 pounds of boost and making some good power had a little bit of fun got a little crazy but uh something we've been messing with and trying to fight is the shifter isn't automatically shifting and i think i have it programmed into the holly right and everything uh maybe it's still fighting us uh, i'm gonna have to play with some of the programming if not but something that is kind of cool I'll show you guys is on these shifters with the air solenoid, there's actually a test button on the top, which it's mounted upside down right now. So I got like a nail right here and you can actually test it. So I'll put air to it and show you guys. You guys can kind of see it struggles right through there, right on the number one, just a little bit. So it still probably needs a little bit. So right through this area right here, it kind of struggles. Like it's just not quiet enough. I know a few people have asked uh, what these are. They're called a Pro Jack, and it's a little jack that slides up underneath the car. There's a couple little mounts. I don't know if you guys can see them right there. And then it goes into them and lifts the car up. It's kind of like a pneumatic lift. All right, that's it for today. A little bit of fun, a little bit of learning still, but the Buick is making progress. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And we're going to get the car lifted back up. He's going to keep working on a lower balance. He's already started working on it a little bit. Um, for like the half mile stuff we figure the car's gonna need some downforce and air so it'll have like a little balance that comes out and then uh, help break it here he already built all the little cover panels for in here which you guys will see in a future video for like at the half mile stuff to block off all the possibility of air going through the car to try to push it around the car so again I appreciate everybody that is new to the channel been following the channel for a while and everything else uh, thank you guys so much for watching Please like, subscribe, and share like you always do, and we'll see you guys next time.